Let's do a quick guide on World 4. I'm showing some strats for difficulty 1, but the boss and elite layouts are the same in higher difficulties, so it will still work. Anyways, our boss is Farog, and the hard part is phase 3, when he summons hands that can take one of your characters out of battle. And it gets really bad if the hand grabs a DPS. So we want to kill the hands before that happens. I will showcase the hunt and remembrance pass, since those two are really fun in this fight, and it can stop the hands from grabbing you. The best free to play team for the hunt path is this, Fire MC to help break, Natasha since you need a healer, Asta for speed buffs and more breaks, and PS, Asta is the best fire breaker in the game and Sparrow has a fire weakness, as well as all these other elites, and Don Hung for DPS, and break. The background footage is playing a quick kill I did on Sparrow with the blessings I'm about to show you. Our goal is to get at least 6 hunt blessings for the special ult, and some specific blessings if we are lucky. Imperishable Victory is great for getting stacks of critical boost, and since we got 3 breakers, the Celestial Annihilation gives a very nice boost in damage. And I also got lucky with this blessing from Destruction, which helps stop squishy DPS from getting one shot. But in my run, I barely took any damage at all since I was attacking so fast. And the final must have is the Vermeil Bow Blessing, since it increases your speed by up to 36%. And we want to stack hunt blessings anyway, so we should be near the max limit. When you get 6 hunt blessings, pick the bonus that does crit and gives extra energy back after defeating enemies. And if you're able to get 10 hunt resonance, then grab the one that gives you 2 bars. When you have both of these, killing any enemy with the resonance will refill another ult. 2 ults from the hunt path will definitely kill any hand. Now let's focus on the fight. Use your resonance whenever Sparrow summons adds, and try to have it ready each time you change phases. I was able to get the 10 hunt blessing, so I was able to double resonance to make sure all the adds die, and if you double, they will. Then there's all these speed buffs with all the blessings I got, and Asa's ult, which got me so many turns before Sparrow even does one. And since my free to play team comp had all his weakness, I was able to keep him broken most of the fight. The enemies have less defense when broken, in addition to that nice extra pop of damage. Nothing too special here, just the normal strategies. Use skills on your DPS and when you need to break, and do basic attacks with MC and Natasha to generate skill points back. The recommended level for this fight was 50 when I recorded this, and it felt way too easy. Okay, now the Remembrance Showcase. You kinda need Jepard or Yang Cheng for this build to really work, since they have chance to freeze enemies normally. Even without an ice character, you can still go down this path and freeze bosses, but it's a lot more luck dependent without a character able to innately freeze the enemy. For blessings, Innocence is a really nice one since it lets you freeze enemies when they break. And since Farog has no ice weakness, this lets others able to freeze him. I also love Retisons. Every 6 or 5 hits will give you a chance to freeze the enemy. Grab 1 or 2 hunt blessings that increase your speed and this can help permafreeze even bosses. A very nice quality of life is Shudder. It adds, it adds ice weakness to enemies and since Farrakh doesn't have an ice weakness normally, this blessing is quite potent. And of course, Unspeakable Shame is a must have for any Remembrance build. Especially since Farrakh has resistance from getting frozen. And other Remembrance Blessings are nice to have, like this extra effect hit rate, which means higher chance to freeze. Now on to the fight. Our goal is to keep Svarag frozen, so he cannot give him that permanent buff to increase his damage, or nuke us. Always use the residence out after he summons the adds, not before. And when you have the energy again, then use it before Svarag's turn if you fail to freeze him. And try to keep a mental note on how many attacks that has been since Retisons popped in order to keep your 6th or 5th hit to always be aimed at Svarog. If you lost count, then just attack the enemy that's not frozen so you don't waste the activation. Same idea for phase 2 and 3. Use the resonance ult when the ad first spawns and before Svarog's turn if you fail to freeze him. Go after the adds first, especially the hands in phase 3. You might be in trouble if they grab your DPS, and if RNG really lets you down, you can always do the Desperate Alt F4 to restart the fight. 
Another good path for World 4 is Abundance, but you need to reach World 6 to get access to it in the first place. And even though Remembrance is not as strong as Hunt, I really like the Freeze playstyle since it feels like you are bullying the boss. Anyways, hope these tips help you beat Svarog and beat World 4. Let me know what teams and blessings you like using. The recommended free to play team is really strong and everyone has access to 3 of these 4 characters. If you don't have Asta, then swap in another support or even the 5 star that you pulled. Thanks for watching this video and as always, have fun out there Trailblazer.